We found this abandoned Volvo wagon and bought it out of a scrapyard right before it was scheduled to be crushed. And we decided to clean it up and have our good friend and new team member Mike get it running. All before we surprised him and gave it to him for free. Now the first thing we did was pull up to the scrapyard and we saw the car it was under a cover. And the funniest part about this video is as we were working on the car and cleaning it up, Mike was saying how much he loved this car and how badly he wanted it over and over. And we were even egging him on while the camera was secretly recording so you guys could hear the stuff he was saying. And it's parked next to a Lambo at a car show. More people will look at this and you can sit and watch it happen. And little did he know we were going to give it to him at the end of the detail. So if you guys want to see that, watch all the way through the video. All right, guys. So we just picked up the Volvo. I think this is a car that the new team member, Mike, is really going to like. And so I'm going to make it his job this week to get it running and then surprise him. And I think we're going to give him a car. So uh, stay tuned for his reaction at the end when we toss him the, we have to make the keys, but we'll toss him the newly made keys and tell him that he's now a Volvo owner. But that's the plan. So definitely stick around. And, uh, and wait for his reaction. I think he's gonna love it. So we wanted to make sure that all the dust and dirt stayed on the car so you guys get to watch it be clean. So we put a car cover on it. <laughs> Looks like we're doing a school bus. <laughs> Now, once we got it back to the shop, we were able to take a quick look over this thing. And as you can see, it was very dusty and dirty. But a little backstory on this car, from what I was told, it was last plated in 2011 and it had sat underneath a carport outside for all of those years. And we were able to find maintenance records on this car and it was actually very well maintained all the way up till 100,000 miles, which definitely gave us high hopes because later in this video, we had Mike try to get it running and you guys will see if it started or not. But I want to hop into the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. I have a fun one for you guys this time. If we were to give you a car and it could be any car that you've dreamt of or anything that you could want that we found for a video, what would it be and why? Leave it in the comments below. And lastly, a high percentage of you guys watching are actually not subscribed to our channel. So take a second and check to make sure you are because I don't want to spoil it. But next week we have another insane video coming for you. And let's just say it was a gem of a find. And hopping right into the detail, we started with the wheels and I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I think they're some of the coolest stock rims I've ever seen on a car. Leave a comment what you think about them. If you guys have any guesses of what our next video may be, the gem that we found, leave it in the comments. If you watch this video very closely, you might get a hint of what it is.
Alright guys, so we sent Mike to go get more interior cleaner because we ran out and I have to talk hush in, in case he comes back, but uh, he's been talking about the car all morning and we can tell that he really, really wants it and he keeps asking us like, oh, what are you guys going to do with it? I might have to buy this off you, blah, 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 blah. He has absolutely no idea that this is already the plan. Hopefully we get it running today and then by the end of the day, we're going to tell him like, alright, so what are you going to do with, uh, with your car? What are you going to do with this thing? He's going to be like, what? So. Stay tuned for that because I can't wait to see his reaction. Realistically though, you think people would actually like this car? Yeah. What do you mean realistically? These are yes, these are really cool. There's a big following of all those guys love this. Do you like this car? I love this car. I don't. I love it. I really love it. I don't love it. So as you guys could imagine, it was pretty easy to get him to keep talking about it because he was doing this all day, whether the camera was on or off. And now we're gonna give the engine bay a quick clean before Mike tries to get it started because as you can see, it was really dirty. And leave a comment down below if you think we could get this car to run. And now we're spraying iron decontamination all over the paint to get any of the iron out of the clear coat and following that up with a clay mitt to get the rest of the contaminants out. Did you do all this? Yes, I did do all that. All right, I'm just fixing your mistakes. Okay, yeah, come on. We got your set. So we're here with the Volvo 740 and we're gonna try to get it started. Now we can see that it does have some coolant in here. We don't have to add any. I do have to check the oil. Ooh, we actually have oil and it looks pretty clean. Someone must have just changed this when it was parked. All we have to do now is hook up the electric and the RJ will try to give it a start and we'll see what happens. What's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, it don't start. <laughs> it's the worst of the thing. What's the worst happen? that can happen? Yellow dang. All right, might explode, watch out. Lights going good. Nice. Dude, this thing might start. Go ahead, I give it a crank. I have, I have actually kind of think it might. Give it gas, give it gas. All right, stop. I'm gonna get the starter fluid and just spray a little bit into the tank and we'll see. There we go. All right, well, yeah, take two. We'll see, I'm gonna spray it and then just give it a start. Go ahead. Good gas, good gas. Woo. It's out, you're good, you're good. Hey! <laughs> it starts! Alright. <laughs> it is that part a little bit. Uh, Woo-wee! Stinky. <laughs> Again? Look at that! 
Well, that's why I wasn't trying again. We're just gonna go very slowly. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and check out what came out of the exhaust when they drove away. Some mice must have gotten in there. So we'll finish up the exterior a little bit later, but moving on to the interior, we had a lot of work ahead of us. We had to pull everything out of the car and only one of the floor mats matched the car. So Mike is probably gonna end up getting all new ones, but we took everything out and gave it a really good vacuum. And even just vacuuming your car makes such a big difference. So if you guys have dirty cars and you wanna make a huge transformation, just vacuum it and I guarantee it'll be like a night and day difference.
Now moving out of the paint, as you can see, it is pretty heavily oxidized, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. And the front bumper is also oxidized, so a little bit later, we're gonna re-dye it, and they both turned out insane. Now we noticed that the tailpipe had a lot of rust and oxidation on it, so Mike pulled out the drill with the wire brush on it and got to work, and by the time it was done, it was a huge and drastic difference. All right, now we're just gonna dress the tires and protect the paint with the sealant, and then we're gonna reveal to Mike that this car is his. can't get this thing to turn or get, even get spark uh, and compression is low in one of the cylinders. So uh, unfortunately, we are probably gonna move off this as we don't have the extra money lying around to do a full engine rebuild and a full interior and exterior paint and whatnot. Um, but, and the good news is, is that we did get the Volvo running, thanks to Mike. Uh, and also Mike doesn't know this, but it's his Volvo. Ooh, no. Yeah, it's yours, dude. <laughs> this is the plan from the beginning. We bought the car, we were sitting in the truck, and I said, Mike's really gonna want this. This and is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, I was like, Mike's really gonna want this, and I'm gonna be a jerk to him all week, and then we're gonna give him the car. And when it ran today, <laughs> and with the maintenance and everything, and the fact that, uh, I mean, you're my best friend, and you're one of Brent's best friends as well. Dude, dude. thank you so yeah, much, dude. guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I said like six times today I wanted this car. <laughs> wow. Thank you, dude. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Holy crap. Um, I couldn't think of a better person to have this wagon. And when it ran with the record. Oh, dude, I'm gonna drive it. Yeah, I know you are. I'm gonna drive it. You're gonna drive the crap out of it, so. Um, yeah, dude. Thank you, man. You're welcome, man. It was, yeah. it was 
Brett's idea as well. Dude, Brett, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thanks, guys. Why do you think we kept getting you to talk about it all day? I don't know. I, don't <laughs> know. So many... I thought you were just egging me out. You were trying to tell me that you didn't like it. I was like, I love this car. It's a great little car. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this, if you guys want to see us keep finding these cars, getting them back on the road, and maybe even giving some more away <laughs> in the future, which is our goal. I mean, that'd be the best. To find, save, and then give people uh, you know, a car that, that we find interesting, that you guys find interesting. Definitely hit like on this video and hit subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.